Hello everyone, welcome back to Bryant's Academy, your education channel. In a world that is moving faster than ever, where dreams are built on innovation, numbers and discovery, our learners stand at the edge of a new beginning. Grade 10 is not just another step in the CBC CBE journey. It's a defining moment for these learners, a moment of choice, a moment of purpose. In today's video, we break down the STEM pathway, learning area by learning area, strand by strand, substrand by substrand, to give you a clear roadmap. Whether you are a learner, a teacher, or a parent, this is your guide to making informed confident and meaningful decision stay with us to the end don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you believe in a future shaped by knowledge and passion let's dive into the breakdown of strand and substrand a number of lessons that these learners will be uh, focusing on come next year in grade 10. So our first area of focus, that's learning area under STEM pathway, is this area of physics. Physics. So let me take you through the summary of strand and substrand that the learner will be. Those learners who have selected this uh, subject as one of their combination will be uh, learning come next year. The first strand will be having mecha mechanics and thermal physics. There you will find that substrand we have introduction to physics, pressure, mechanical properties of materials, temperature and thermal expansion. We have moments and equilibrium, then energy, work, power and machines. Those are substrands under the strand, mechanics and thermal physics. The second strand under this area is waves and optics. The substrand under that one is properties of waves, radioactivity, and stability of isotopes. You can see the number of lessons allocated to that strand and substrand. Then we have the third strand is electricity and magnetism. Here, the learner will be touching on electrostatics, current electricity, introduction to electronics, and each substrand has been allocated a certain number of lessons then lastly we have environmental and space physics here learners will be touching on two substrands that is greenhouse effect and climate change then lastly they'll be learning about introduction to space physics you can see the number of lessons allocated to this learning area that is physics in grade 10 will be 150 lessons so that's the strand and substrand the learner will be uh, learning when it comes to physics as one of the combination the learner selected let's go to next learning area that was combined with others so our next learning area will be biology biology and the first strand under biology will be having cell biology and by bi di diversity cell biology and di diversity under that one the substrand will be introduction to biology scientific investigation in biology we have cell structure and specialization and chemical of life those are the substrand under the strand cell biology and biodiversity then the second strand under that one will be anatomy and physiology of plants under that one it, it will be broken down into into three substrands the first one is nutrition the second substrand will be transport and the third one will be gaseous exchange and respiration and the last strand in biology will be anatomy and physiology of animals here the learner will be touching also uh, on three substrands we have nutrition, transport, and gaseous exchange, and respiration. That one is in animal, the other one was in plant. 
uh, you can see the number of lessons allocated to each substrand. The total will be 180 lessons uh, per that uh, uh, calendar of year. Let's go to next learning area. So in computer science, as one of the learning area that is found under uh, STEM pathway, the first trend will be foundation of computer science. Foundation of computer science. That one will be having 56 lessons. So the first substrand will be evolution of computers. The second substrand will be computer architecture. Then the third one, input output devices, IO devices. Then the fourth substrand will be computer storage. We have central processing unit. We have opening system OS. Then we have computer setup. The second strand will be computer networking. That will be 32 lessons. Uh, so under that one, the substrands will be data communication. We have data transmission media, computer network elements, and network topo topologies. Topo topologies. Then last uh, strand under computer uh, will be software development. That one will be having 92 lessons. So. Uh, those 92 lessons have been split into six substrands. The first one is computer programming concept. We have program development, identifiers, and operators. We have control structures, containers, and lastly, functions. That one will be covered under 180 lessons. Let's move to another learning area that is found in STEM pathway. So our next uh, learning area will be power mechanics, power mechanics. And the summary of strand and substrand under power mechanics, we have fundamentals of power mechanics technology as the first uh, strand. Under that one, we have substrand as overview of power mechanics as a learning area. We have evolution of automobile. We have power mechanics workshop layout then general workshop rules and regulations. That one will be covered under 42 lessons. We have the second strand is related technical drawing. Here we have substrands for diagonal scale, loci, uh, tagendi. We have blending of lines and curve. That one will be covered in 58 lessons. Then we have vehicle system. Here we have road wheels. We have vehicle body vehicle chassis we have vehicle body joining processes we will be covered in 50 lessons then we have engines as the fourth strand there are the substrands we have introduction to engines type of engines classification of engines so there we'll be having a total of 180 lessons per that academic year come next year Let's move to another learning area that is found in STEM pathway. Let's dive into general science. General science. Here we have four strands and uh, in each strand we have some substrands. So the first strand is introduction to general science. Here we have only one substrand that is introduction to general science second strand is living things and environment there we have properties of waves the cell uh, we have nutrition in animals we have transport in plants respiration plant growth and development and microorganism those are the substrand under living things and environment the third strand is matter and chemicals reactions there you will find as a substrand like the periodic table chemical families chemical bonding acids bases and salts we have rates of reaction then the last uh, strand under general science we have general physics there you will be touching on turning effect of force linear motion with constant acceleration we have waves 
and lastly this last substrand under general physics we have magnetism and electromagnetic induction so here the learners will be learning this learning area called general science in 150 lessons per that academic year let's dive into another learning area so let's dive into the learning area called aviation technology here the first strand uh, under aviation technology is foundation of aviation technology the substrands under that one is introduction to aviation technology we have safety in the aviation workplace then airport safety the second substrand under that one is aircraft basic construction there you will find substrands like aircraft components aircraft tools and materials and lastly aircraft related drawing that's isometric drawing then the third strand is flight operations there the learner will be learning about aviation weather aviation communication aerodynamics of flight then lastly we have airport operations there the learner will be learning about the airport and airport business services they will cover that one in 180 lessons per that academic year let's move to another learning area found in stem pathway next we have electrical technology here the first strand is fundamentals of electrical technology the substrands under that one will be introduction to electrical technology we have dc electric circuit uh, capacitors and capacitance then we have cells and batteries the second strand will be electrical machines there the learner will be touching on magnetism as the first substrand we have electromagnetism the second substrand under that strand and lastly measuring instruments as the third substrand in electrical machines the third strand will be electrical installations there the learner will be touching on generation transmission and distribution of electricity we have equipment at the intake point then final circuits and lastly we have the strand electronics in electronics learners will be learning about semiconductor theory we have semiconductor diodes and transistors all those substrands learner will be required to cover them in 180 lessons per that academic year let's dive into building and construction as one of the uh, learning area in stem pathway uh, the first strand will be foundation of building construction under that one the first substrand will be introduction to building construction we have site preparation then the second strand will be related drawing under that one the learner will be talking about isometric drawing and computer aided drawing then the third strand will be building construction processes under that one we have concreting as the first substrand we have foundations timbering foundations walling ground floors then the last strand will be building services under that one learners will be focusing on plumbing tools and equipment plumbing materials and pipe work all those substrands learner will be required to cover them in 180 lessons per that academic year next is business studies business studies under that one let's check on the strand the first strand will be business and money management there learner will be touching on the first substrand as money second one will be business goals third one will be budgeting in business the fourth one will be banking then the second strand will be business and its environment under that one learners will be touching on business activities type of business ownership social responsibility of businesses entrepreneurship production and consumer satisfaction then we have the third strand will be government and global influence under that one learners will be learning about public finance as the first uh, substrand then we have 
international trade as the second substrand under that strand. Lastly, we have financial records in business. Here they'll be talking about the business transaction. Remember that one, they are learning in grade 8 and grade 9. Also, it's still there now when they'll mention that one. We have effect of business transactions and sources of document and journals. That one, they'll have to cover it in 180 lessons per that academic year. Our next learning area is applied agriculture. Under that one, the first one will be crop production. Crop production. Uh -huh. There we'll be having substrates like agricultural land, properties of soil, land preparation, field management practices. We have growing selected crops, crop protection, and general crop harvesting. The second strand will be animal production. Their learners will be uh, diving into substrates like breeds of livestock, animal handling and safety, general animal health, beekeeping, and animal rearing project. Then the third uh, strand will be agricultural technologies and entrepreneurship. Their learners will be touching on tools and equipment product processing and value addition, establishing agricultural enterprise, and marketing agricultural produce. Then lastly, com composting techniques. That one will be done in 180 lessons per that academic year. Also, we have those who selected metal technology as one of their combination as learning area. There, the first strand will be fundamental of metal technology, and the substrand will be introduction to metal technology and safety at work. Then, the second strand will be tools and materials in metal technology. They'll be learning about hand tools and bench tools, measuring and marking out tools, ferrous and unferrous metals, then project. The third one will be related drawing in metal technology. The substrates will be scales and conversions and pictorial drawing. Then lastly, they will be learning about metal joining and finishing process as one of the strands. The substrand will be method of joining sheet metal, then sheet metal processes, and they will be having a project that want to be done also in 180 lessons per that academic year. Then we also have wood technology, wood technology. Under that one, the first strand will be foundation of wood technology. Under that, we have substrand like overview of wood technology, wood workshop, hand tools and equipments. Then the second strand is materials. Under that one, we'll find a substrand like growth of timber trees timber conversion and seasoning we have adhesives then the third strand will be timber processes and products there the substrands will be preparation of wood woodworking joints surface preparation project activity that's furniture item then lastly the last strand will be related drawings there they'll be talking about drawing and sketching that lesson or that learning area to be covered you in 180 lessons per that academic year and the last learning area under stem pathway that i want us to, to talk about is home science so in home science the first strand will be food and nutrition under that one we have overview of food and nutrition kitchen layout and equipment food hygiene and safety methods of cooking nutritive value of foods then the second strand will be home management. Here, learners will be learning about hygiene during uh, during puberty, safety in the home, housing the family, cleaning the house, laundry, work, then consumer education. And last, the, lastly, they'll be talking about clothing and textiles. Here, they'll be talking about sewing tools, equipment and materials, textile fibers, then clothing, construction, processes that is teachers clothing construction process that is sims and clothing construction processes that's management of fullness that want to be done in 170 lessons per that academic year so that's the end of the brief uh, explanation of the each learning area and the number of strands and substrands that 
is found in that area so that these learners after selecting these pathways uh, let them go sit down and know after grade 9 what they'll be doing so that they are prepared thank you for your time remember to subscribe comment and share remember brian's academy will always deliver we don't disappoint may god bless you